Hey guys, it's Aika. We're gonna be checking out La Plus's Ooh La La Spanish version. Their company really tries to promote and hit like a Latin market. And I don't know if it's necessarily that that's where they have a lot of fans for their groups or if it's just something that they're pushing out there. But at least somebody's trying to hit the market, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, really excited to be checking this out. Haven't heard this song yet, but really intrigued to see what they're gonna do for this. So yeah, let's get the El Español. Okay. Hey DJ, pon me a top the music player. Comienza la fiesta, vamos a calentar. Hey, this got got to be so this. Okay. You're shaving yourself with this beat. So Spanish and English. Pronunciation. Could use some work. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. There is interesting stuff with parts of the song. Oh, that looks sick. Wait, did they go to Camp Mexico? I don't remember who was on the thing. At least that was successful. Yeah, that was quite interesting. As someone who is Latina and who uh, listens to music in Spanish since her entire life, uh, from the bandas to the reggaetons, um, it I I know of mm, uh, the sound and also being a fan of K-pop. That's where I'll go with this. Um, the Latin concepts for K-pop. They don't always hit for me specifically, um, just because what I want is something that feels very authentic, um, like bringing in the reggaetons, bringing in like um, certain sounds versus some. A lot of those kind of go for like in a way a stereotypical Latin sound versus kind of hitting the more specific genres that I think would be a lot more interesting um, and shows a much more appreciation for the music and the genre itself rather than doing something that feels whatever you know what I mean so like but there were interesting parts here like when it went to the trap and then there's something else in the second in the first verse um, that sounded really interesting because um, Latin trap is very popular still um, so um, uh, like, I, I, like if, if you're gonna do it, kind of lean more into making it more genuine and authentic. Their pronunciation isn't the best, but if they want to push this more, that is something they can work on. Um, but like, the lyrics are kind of very cheesy to me, because it's just, they, they're just saying random phrases and words that are just 
popular in like all the songs but kind of giving me nothing a little bit you know what i mean so i and like also the mixing for their voices when i hear mixing like this to me it sounds cheap um it just because i think like a lot of times with companies with not a lot of money um they kind of their their songs end up sounding like this and i don't quite like that and i don't know if i've there may be some other Lopolis ones where songs where I felt that way, um, but at least not for the more recent ones. So like I kind of wish like the mixing or the capturing of their voices or it would be a bit more. I don't know. There's just something with it. I don't know if it's recording equipment. I don't know if who's it's who's mixing it and making the songs. But I'm not a fan of how their voices sound for this one. I wish they sent would have sounded. Um, a lot more cleaner, a lot more crispier, just overall kind of better. Um, but yeah, but they did really great stuff with the LED screen for some of it. Um, that was really, really cool and interesting looking. And they were dancing the choreography. I feel like I was distracted by a lot of other things. I wasn't really a focus on it. But um, if they want to push towards the Latin market, I, I would love to see that. I would love to see more K-pop groups do that. But there's a way to do it. There is a way to do it. Um, and sort of getting the sound getting these type of lyrics I don't think are the way to do it or it's not working the way they want it to um because I don't know just to me it's cheesy it's kind of just like this is really what we're going for like I, if, you're, if there's gonna be a lot in concept I want to see effort putting towards um bringing in um well, I mean, K-pop groups have worked with Latin producers, playing skills, both Super Junior, both uh, BAB have worked with them, and they gave us great music and stuff, and I feel like Give Me More is very poppy, especially for playing skills, um, type of stuff, but like, like, there, I feel like there needs to be more, like, effort into making it and not just sound like, again, just like a very general, stereotypical type of line sound. I want to, I want it to be more authentic and feel more directed towards the genre itself or the other genres that are incorporated in it because there's more than just that, you know what I mean? And I feel like, like, groups and stuff, even Super Junior did, like, with Rake, who's like, um, a band, or Rake, um, it's only one hour, so you don't need to roll it the R's like that, um, but like that was really great. Chunk has, um, stuff with Wina Beachy, uh, or Wina, sorry. <laughs> um, that's really, really great and stuff, but like I, I want like something that like, it, it, it just, I don't know, I don't know how other people feel about it, especially if you're like a Latin, um, of Latinx origins or, you know, um, of that groups of people's like moi, how you really feel about this? Because but in like a K-pop set, I want to see, and I feel like certain groups have delivered that and have really kind of hit in like a specific place, but then they sort of abandon it a little bit. Um, so I would, I just, I don't know, like I just, it's and at this point, because like there was the whole Latin trend in like 2017, 2018, um, like, and it was a lot of stuff like this. I don't think this bad, but like. Um, it, it, it's just like having experienced that time in K-pop, doing this stuff, I'm like exhausted of it, I'm like tired of it. I wanted to do it because I was very interested in it, but like if this is what we're getting, this is what we're getting, like really. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wish they would have done something more interesting with it because yeah but i don't i'm not bla i don't blame the girls at all it's more like their company um for doing this because yeah um but and i think i like it's just yeah it's just uh, i'm exhausted i'm tired of it but uh yeah go to put your thoughts in the comments down below because i'm interested to know how you feel about la palace's ooh la la the spanish version if you like this video this video a thumbs up if you like to be and you want to see more of my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button want to follow me on social media twitter instagram tiktok threads or in the description down below or at the end screen if you like gaming content i have a gaming channel it's called erica just games links in the description down below currently playing red dead redemption 2 i hope you can join me over there for that thank you Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Tell me who's next. Tell me who's next. Tell me who's next. So what you got, what you got, what you got. Tell me who's next.